Burns gets a sign. Wind and the 2020 baseball season is underway for the Tigers and the Flames. First pitch will miss low and away. Strike away from a 1-2-3 inning. There's a line drive. Smoke straight away center. Back on the run. Case and Howell. He'll haul it in for out number three. Quick inning of work for Tanner Burns. One, there's 34 runs batted in. A one in the air. Left center field. Back on the run. And it'll drop inside the king and his crescent couldn't get there. And that's a lead off double for John Ward. Oh, what a way to start the season. Well, that's a lot of what you're going to see this season out of this top of the lineup. Judd Ward and Ryan Bliss are just spark plugs. They fight for their at-bats. They don't give up an at-bat. They get a pitch to hit. They don't miss it. And that's a, just a tough welcome to Plains in the park for Brett Tressen out in left field. Brett, I mean, that sun that we have right yeah. now that's just setting is getting his eyes where he was running. And even if he had been able to get there, it would have been an, a remarkable catch. Yeah, that sun beaming nine. Oh, two line shot. It'll drop for a base hit in the center. Heading home, the score is Ward, and that's an RBI single for Stephen Williams. Tigers on the board, one nothing. That's what we talked about. Leadoff double. Stephen Williams gets it. Looks like a breaking ball. A change up down in the zone. Drives it to center field. I think Judd Ward ran through Gabe Gross' stop sign because Gabe was sending him at third base for a split second. Here it is again. Nice swing. Went down and got that ball down in the zone. Paprieto didn't have enough to get Ward at home. <laughs> a good quality pitch to Tyler Miller. 3-1. Hot shot, deep right field. On the run is Smart, and it'll bounce off the wall. Connor Davis rounds third. Heading to third for a triple is Tyler Miller. It's an RBI triple for his first hit. As an Auburn Tiger, he gives Auburn a 2-0 lead. Sends a charge into the crowd at Plainsman Park. That's what we're talking about. you got to be real careful on a 3-1 count. We're talking about how hot his bat has been this spring. Tyler Miller looks like he gets a 3-1 fastball, middle half down. This is a home run by about five feet. You can see in the inexperience on the Plainsman Park for the Illinois Chicago, both outfielders converged on the ball that hit the wall. Well, there's nobody there to, to get the ball in quickly and keep Miller to it. 1-0, brown ball to short. Charging, then pie strip goes to second and gets Rankin Woolley for out number three. Average. It's a grounder back up the middle, and Thomas Smart with a first base runner and first hit of the season for Illinois Chicago. Got a fast now six in a row retired before the leadoff single from Smart. This one hit well, deep left field, and we have a tie ball game. Thomas, or excuse me, Joshua Figueroa with a two-run blast over the monster, and just like that with one pitch, UIC ties it at two. Burns left this fastball up at inner half. Joshua Figueroa did not miss it. Well over the green monster in left field. Looks like Tanner Burns was just a little bit out of sorts moving into the stretch. And you can see that ball's middle half in, and Tanner Burns knew it right when it was hit, and so did Joshua Figueroa. Well, and, and the way the wind is blowing out here at the ballpark today, Greg, we, we were talking strikeouts his freshman season. Here's a hot shot past the third baseman in the left. Ryan Bliss rounding first. He's going to go for second. The throw from Tresson off the mark. And a leadoff double for the shortstop, Ryan Bliss. Bliss gets a pitch in her half. It's almost identical to the pitch that he got in the first inning of the ground ball to third. This one, he squares up, line drive to left field. It looked like Tresson in order to cut it off. Nice backhand, great play. But right out of the box, Ryan Bliss is thinking double, and he did. Ice trip coming in behind Bliss, keeping him close. Hard grounder to first. Backhanded stop. Moore will get to the bag for out one. That'll move Ryan Bliss to third. So a ground ball to the right side moves the runner. 2-2 in the air right side. 
Smart shades over for the catch. Tagging at third is Bliss. Throw will not be in time. And Connor Davis gets the Tigers a lead. Sacrifice fly to right. Ryan Bliss slides in home. Oh. 1-1, one, one. it'll drop in right center. Miller heads to third, coming up firing is Smart. And the Tigers drop in a two-out single from Rankin Woolley. He's reached base twice. Is anybody in the SEC? 0-2, oh, 5-6 hole again, coming over is Norton. Strong throw, the stretch, beat it! RBI single for Matt Scheffler. That's just one of those plays all around, really nice play. Third base, Thomas Norton ranges almost in front of Pystrup at shortstop on this ground ball into the 56 hole. Spin move, makes a good throw, just short hop, good pick by Corey Moore, but Scheffler can run for a catcher. And that is an injury in the fall. Grounder right back up the middle to Botcher at second, steps on second. And the inning comes to a close. Auburn gets one with an RBI single from Matt. A little bit by just spinning spinning that breaking ball. It's a good one. Payoff bench and lost him. Fastball in the dirt. Lead off walk for Alex D. And the time. And as a pitcher, you have to love that, correct? 2-2. Two, two. Liner into the canyon. It'll drop his trouble for Auburn. Alex D cruising into third. He'll hold up. And that's a two-out double for Thomas Smart. Puts runners at second and third. The go-ahead run comes to the plate. Tanner Burns left this fastball in her half. Thomas Smart didn't miss it. Two for two on the day. Hits that into left center field. And you can see Kaysen Howell right here does a great job of cutting this ball off. Keeping Alex D to, to just staying at third base, but he slips right here. I thought head coach Mike D might send in here. Allen gets behind Scheffler. Coming home to score is D. It's a one-run ball game. Pinch in the dirt. Gives Illinois Chicago a run. Well, that was just what we were talking about, how important it was to trust the catcher on these breaking balls, especially with a runner on third because I can't take... 2-2 breaking ball, got it swinging. Tanner Burns with a big strikeout. Illinois Chicago leads the number five. In the air, shallow left center, a long run, avoiding a collision, but dropped the ball was Papiatro, and that puts Casey Howell on second. Miscommunication gets the Tigers two backs. I'm going to be curious. That should be a hit. It's a tough play. We had a miscommunication out in left field. And we talked about some of the pieces that come from being outside on a regular basis and not being outside on a regular basis. Outfield work is a huge one. Yeah. And you can see the left fielder, Tresson, come sliding in in front of Paprieto. And just enough to get him to slow it up. they got to give that a hit. Still waiting for the left center. And John Ward butts one down the third base line. Fielding is Norton. He'll make the play to first. And that is a unselfish at bat for John Ward. He showed Bunn his last at bat after the. Well, and I know for Illinois Chicago, is this a big swing? Ryan Bliss. Another deep fly ball is going to carry and drop at the warning track. Scoring easily is Howell. Ryan Bliss standing up at second. Ryan Bliss having a day. Two for three. Two doubles. This one an RBI double for his first RBI of the year. Tigers go back up by two. It's 5-3. Well, it looked like he got a slider hanging in the middle of the plate. And Ryan Bliss did not miss that. He hit it into the canyon in left center. Tresson ran a long way to go after this. Bliss coming right out of the box, thinking double. Short hops the wall out by Bo Jackson. Hit it to the deepest part of the ballpark because the way this wind is carrying it, if you get it up, you're giving the signs on what pitch it is so the infield knows what's coming. In the air, straightaway center, long run for Papiatro, but he'll get there for out number three. The Tigers get one in the fourth. You notice the nets down the foul lines here at Plainsman Park. Here's a ground ball that'll sneak through from 
for Stephen Williams. And for Williams, that is his second base hit of the night. Two for four nights for the Auburn right fielder. Another payoff pitch. And Davis wins the battle with a ball in the dirt. Connor Davis walks for the third. Runner's going to go. Offers his Figueroa to second base and got him. Lynn Pystrup applies to tag. Figueroa guns down Connor Davis, and the Tigers run themselves out of, this, out of the inning here in the seventh. Figueroa with a missile behind the dish through seven complete is Auburn five, Illinois Shakespeare two, three, two. It'll stay in the infield, middle infield, Bliss and Moore, and it's Ryan Bliss. 13 in a row. Exact numbers, but so you're out there and you get two days the whole spring exhibited tonight. Five Ks and for the win, called strike three. Cody Greenhill shuts the door for the orange and blue. And Auburn defeats UIC 5-3 for an opening day win.